obviously this is my arsenal video um I don't have much else to say other than let's get started. Baby, I'm I guess we'll just start off with my first real and raw, raw and real, real and raw, same thing, same idea. We have the carbon light from Johnny Morris. Um, I also have the pro qualifier. This is just a step up from the pro qualifier from that series. It's pro qualifier, carbon light, and then it gets more complicated from there. With the lose Mach 2 on it. So this is 751 is that ratio. And then this is actually my frogging rod, but right now I obviously have my cranks on there. I also have 30 pound braid on this for my frogging setup. Um, Power Pro. And, but once frogging season comes around, we're gonna throw frogs on this guy. My other casting combo that I have is the Abu Garcia Revo X. Um, again, it's great. 731, the other one was 751. Um, yeah. I can't say anything bad about it. The only thing different is that you have a little bit wider face on the thumb spool area. I don't know what you call that. I just stuck with 20 pound braid in normal green color suffix 832, so there's that one. And then I have it matched up with a the air series of irod you guys i've been using this rod for about i want to say two months now ever since open water happened um by far my favorite rod i have ever used it's a medium heavy seven foot um it is literally the best rod i've ever i it's great action it's lightweight it throws i throw all my cranks on it all my spinning it like it's beautiful um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite setup I have right now. Um, but yeah, I'll link everything in the description on to get your own hands on it. So, okay, and then for finesse, I have a seven foot one inch finesse power finesse medium action and it's from irod genesis 2 that's all the information i can say about the rod so if you're going finesse fishing like strictly finesse you're using shaky heads um ned rigs stuff like that i love it i mean it's it's very light i'm not used to throwing this light of rods for bass but it is perfect for finesse because you'll be able to feel the t the ticks and the twitches of the fish versus if you use anything heavier and then I have it matched up with the carbon light in the 3000. Uh, I matched it up with that because 3000 is a little bit bigger swole, nicer. It's just a little, not nicer by any means, but it's just more heavy duty than my crappie one I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I have it matched up with the carbon light. And if you didn't know, the Bass Pro carbon lights are literally made by Daiwa. So they're the same thing as the Daiwa reels they're like black gold and green ish colored um so yeah basically i got a dial reel matched up with the eye rod i have it paired up with eight pound fluorocarbon of seagar i just love their company eight pound again is very light for bass if you didn't know um but this whole setup is very light i'm probably gonna switch it to crappie even sometimes just because it is so light for bass especially here the bass here are one two three pounds maybe um, I'd be throwing this easy here. It's lightweight, eight pounds. I'm not scared of a bass breaking my line here just because the bass are smaller. Um, yeah, good setup. And for my crappie setup. So I love fishing crappie. I've never really had like a crappie pole until recently. I've always just used like a $40 normal weird, like the mega cast from Cabela's if you know what that is, or Bass Pro. Um, yeah, so I, I got this from iRod again. The rod is from iRod. It's the Crusher series in fast action. I'm gonna say light just because it is super, it might be medium light, but 
again, like the action on it is super fast. If you catch a crappie, you're going to feel it with this guy. The line I have matched up with it is the Seagar six pound. Um, that's all I can say about that. I don't really know what else I mean. Oh, and then I have it matched up with the Carbon Light. Again, this is kind This is this is kind of the same thing as the finesse setup, but it's just for crappie. Everything's just lighter and dialed down a notch. So I have the 1500 from the Carbon Light, again made by Daiwa. Um, yep, six pound line. Seagar said that already. But there's that setup. And I love catching crappie because you can actually eat them without feeling bad about yourself. Because when I eat bass, I just feel like an awful human being sometimes. And at home, I will put a video of what's at home, but I have a Cabela's fishing reel and rod from or for the ice i don't know oh it's a capella's prodigy um i think it's 24 inch and then i have it on four or six pound trilene smoke line that's all from memory and i bought that combo this year um right at the end of ice season so i never really got to use it but there's that set up too for my ice fishing stuff. Well, those are my setups. I have four setups. Um, I also have the Pro Qualifier sitting at home casting rod, which I'm gonna buy a new reel soon. I don't know what brand yet because I like the Tatula, I like the Corrado, I like the, I like a lot of stuff that's pricey. What I had before was the Silver Max on a tournament special rod. Not to say anything bad about it, but I would not get the Silver Max. If you're looking to spend something cheap for a baitcaster, at least at your minimum, I'd say at 200 bucks for a combo. Just because it's gonna pay out in the end, you'll be happy. I'd go with the Pro Qualifier Rod on Revo X is what I started out with and I can't say anything bad about it. Um, I still love it, but I also haven't tasted that fine wine top of the end stuff, so I guess I'm still... I'm, I'm merging into that, but I don't want to make that jump yet because then I'll be addicted and spend a lot of money, but we're not there yet. Anyways, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed watching my Arsenal video. <laughs> I don't know how to make these. We're close with that sound. I like the truck. He's out. Baby, I'm fired.